I'm Iqbal Khan. Uh, I'm directing Education Rita for Open Coliseum. Um, the very first job that I did as professional director was here about uh, in 2002, I think. So it's wonderful to be able to sort of come back here at this point. I've just finished directing um, Othello at the RSC. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I've always been exposed to literature through my brothers. Uh, but actually I, I started off in education um, pursuing uh, studies in mathematics and physics. And I went to Cambridge and I did uh, the Maths Tripos. I was also at the time very into cricket and potentially pursuing a professional cricket in career. Uh, and then I got ill, very ill for a couple of years. And that affected my studies enormously and it affected, it essentially brought my cricketing career to an end. Uh, and so, I, and I had depression. And during that time, I rethought everything about why I was doing what I was doing, who I was doing it for. Um, and read a lot of literature at the time, was always into the arts and, and gravitated towards that more and more. So when I went back to university, even though I went back to Imperial College to do a physics degree, I joined the Drama Society and very quickly it was like a, a disease, a drug, it spread through me. Uh, and um, I knew that that was exactly what I wanted to do. And actually I left my degree course before it ended uh, to pursue a life in the circus. There are well. very serious <laughs> drama therapy programs, and I, and I suppose it is, it is, a, it can be a, a very healthy way of dealing with the complexities that, that that someone who's suffering with depression might be going through. It's about perspective, isn't it? It's about adjusting your perspectives. And the great thing about drama is it asks the, the big questions about you know who who am I? How do I relate to others around me? Uh, what kind of world do I want to live in? All those things that, that sort of create an anxiety for, for people, particularly. You're absolutely right. I think it still is. It's, it's, a, it's a very fragile existence. Um, Theatre doesn't pay enormously well. Uh, TV and film is a bit better, but the uh, opportunities are more limit, limited. Um, did, I face, um, did I face discrimination? No. Um, not really not obvious discrimination but there's always been a perception i think of anybody um any ethnic artist that there's a there's a perception of amateurishness about them and i think it's always been difficult to sort of have the mainstream take you seriously and to invest in you to advocate for you seriously and i suppose i i i, I do feel that i've encountered that quite a lot in my life uh, and, and so you feel like you're constantly having to kind of do the work don't assume it's going to happen overnight. This is not a, it's, it's not a, a celebrity contest. Uh, you, you need to have sorted your craft out before you can um, advocate for yourself. Um, I think you need to you need to have a very clear sense of what uh, of what your abilities are, of how you value yourself, so that when you then, um, as it were, make the case for yourself to the world, that you can do it confidently. Um, but also, I, th I think don't be afraid of those conversations with the mainstream. I think I think everybody in the arts recognizes that there needs to be movement that uh, welcomes the the prospect of people with with different experiences coming into it and diversifying the artists who are working in this. So everyone's looking for that. Um, so it's not. It, 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 I, I don't think they'll, they'll encounter resistance from that point of view. Um, so yeah. Don't, don't be careful in those steps, be, be passionate. Willie Russell's written an extraordinary modern masterpiece because, I mean, yes, the play is about a young, little buddly young woman uh, who is, is trying to improve herself. Uh, she's trying to, most importantly, she's trying to give herself agency in the world. Um, and, and she does that through education, open university, etc. Uh, and even though it was written in the 1980s, or sort of 1979, 80, um, it, it, I think it applies in all kinds of ways to, walk, to, to, to the, the, the challenges facing anyone who doesn't feel entitled to have to make those choice choices. For, uh, and he, he, he constructs this play extraordinarily well, and it still speaks hardly, uh, it still speaks strongly uh, to because that it refreshes issue. you. When you're, when you're making great work, for a new kind of audience in a new kind of space. Um, I love Oldham, I love the North, I love coming to work because the audiences are very, uh, very vibrant.
then they're, they're not well behaved, uh, you know, and that's fantastic. Um, Educating Rita is, as I said, a modern classic. It's a beautiful play. It's very serious, but it, but it's also so so deftly written. It's very funny, um, uh, and there's no fat to it at all. And it has two great parts in it for great actors, um, and we have them. And the play for this production, Margaret Thatcher had just come in to power, uh, and so the whole new conservative model. Was, was and the destruction of the left uh, had started. That project had, had begun, um, and so and and um, the the I, the I, I, you know opportunities were there for those that felt entitled to take them. For those that didn't, they were sort of left behind. So, so the separation between those that, that have and those that don't have has increased enormously over time. Uh, we're, at, we're at a similar place now, I think, particularly with Corbyn coming in, and, and with, with David Cameron and a majority conservative, a, a, a conservative government now in, in control. Uh, we're, 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 I think we're faced with very similar dynamics of, of um, what is our responsibility as a society to, to uh, provide education and opportunity for everyone mm. equally. Um, and. Uh, yeah, so, so I think the dynamics in, in, in society are, are eerily resonant yeah. of when this was written. And, and it, 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 um, we, we still, still have enormous numbers of, of, of people in this, in this country who, who feel that their opportunities are circumscribed. You know, which is why I think a party like, like UKIP has, has had so much traction, because people feel powerless, people feel like they, they haven't the opportunity that, that they want to have and they, they want to blame other, other communities for, for taking away the resources that, that they feel should belong to them. So, so yeah, I, I think it, it feels like it speaks very, very clearly to the world as it yeah, is now. I think the, yeah. the arts managements recognise that there is a, a lack of diversity in the people making the work uh, or overseeing it. Um, and I think they're trying to change that. Now, it's difficult because you need to you need to um, take the time to create a workforce that have the um, relevant skills. Uh, so, so so that that's going to I think it's going to take a while to sort that out. Uh, but I think the, the mainstream organisations need to demonstrate very clearly that they are consistently doing that. The, the more term. complicated problem is how do you get a diverse audience in? Because uh, I think that's the issue. Is particularly in the South Asian context, uh, there isn't, I think, a consistent theatre going, a theatre going habit, um, and I, I think that's a more complicating, and that might partly be answered by those people that make it, people like me who who, who make it, and so seeing themselves on the stage or or, or people like themselves making the piece, uh, but more importantly, even if they see an Asian version of whatever play you've done. I think the more important thing is that they then can go and see a Chekhov done however, um, but the play sings to them, speaks clearly to them, and, the, and, and getting into these buildings doesn't feel like an alien experience. How do we do that? That's everyone's responsibility. Like, I think it's my responsibility as a director, whether I'm working uh, on the RSC Othello as I did recently, to also go into schools, because I think that's where you begin, to go to schools and make the case for theatre to everyone there. Um, uh, to make the case for complicated um, literature, dramatic literature, uh, and to show how exciting it can be. That, 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 that um, realm of expertise, etc., should be available to everyone. Um, so, and I, and I think often directors, particularly at, at, at my level or, or above, don't feel the need to individually, personally, advocate on in all those different spheres and I think we should do much more. What we found was that actually a lot of contemporary Asian Muslims, boys, girls, whatever, came in and were thrilled by it because it represented the real world to, to, to them without condescension, without simplification. Um, so I was, I was incredibly proud of the work we did there and Ishi Din is an extraordinary writer. Um, so, so yeah, so would I like to do more of that work? Absolutely. I'm, I'm, in, I'm developing a play about um, honour killing, uh, it's called Blood Contract. Um, and, I, and again, I think 
producers might be quite nervous about um, putting the piece on, but uh, I'm, I'm very passionate about doing that sort of work. There's well, something can. about That's the other's experience that, that resonates with you. Uh, that What it does is, is it, it underlines our shared humanity. That even though there are things that are different about us and that are, and that are interesting and exciting in, in that they are different, but, but that there are profounder things that are, that are the same about our humanity. Uh, so yes, I, I think on the one hand it can educate and enlighten us about others, uh, the experience of others, uh, but it can also um, console us and, and, and provide us with an enormous compassion for a very similar experience existing in a very There are a few, there are some that I can't talk about. There's, a, there, there, there's, there's potentially something that I, that I might be doing at the Globe ne next year uh, in London. Um, there's some work abroad that I might be doing next year. Um, so yeah, I mean, I mean, there's, there, there, there are. I mean, I also, as I say, I still continue to to work um, in drama schools and in schools, and oh, so I'm doing entertainment with the Shrew at, at the Welsh College uh, to mark Richard Burton's 90th anniversary, the anniversary of his death in Cardiff. So I'm doing that at the end of the year. So yeah, I, 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 there's plenty to come.